Welcome to another Stand Upright rebooted video. Today is Sunday and I'm going to talk about the world with an attribute of tough. So let's talk about tough first. So what tough does is it increases your health by 50% which you can probably see but decreases your damage by 10%. Now, the percentage of you getting tough is 9%. So you can physically, like, look at your stat. You can see how big your stand health is, but how sadly decreased your damage is. So now that we've looked at the stat of the world is, 4, per, uh, four seconds barrage length and the 10 tier list, let's go ahead and talk about the percentage of you getting the world. Now, the percentage of you getting this is 2%. So let's go ahead and show you the animation and the damage. As you can see, it deals 11 damage and 15 damage as the critical. Let's go with the power punch, which is the rice mouse button. And as you can see here, it deals 16.7 damage, which should also deal knockback and stun. Next one is going to be barrage. As you can see here, you hold E and it should deal 3.7 damage per punch and should last 5 se 4 seconds. Now, going to the next one, it is going to be... Hold on, I need to do something here. Next one is going to be the knife throw. Or, no, not the knife throw, but the heavy punch. We need 6 damage, and it should deal... Um, knockback and stun. The barrage is 33.7 damage. I think I got, like, lost there. Let's go with the next one, the knife throw. To do the knife throw, all you need to do is click T. And once you click T, once you click T, okay, uh, this is range, so you can go farther away. You should throw a knife towards your enemy, which are three knives, and that's how much damage you're gonna deal. Let's see that one more time. Click T, deals 20 something damage. Each knife deals 20, so two for six. It's like 60 damage or 70, 80 damage. Next one is going to be time skip. All you need to do is put your cursor to wherever you want to teleport. Click F and you should teleport to wherever you were pointing at. Now, you cannot go teleport to the other side of the map, unfortunately. Going to the next one, it is going to be time stop. To activate time stop, all you need to do is click Z and you should do this type of animation. And in the type of animation, you should stop time in a few seconds and then it should return back. In that few seconds, you can use whatever you want, some combos if you want to. And you can deal damage after the, the stop has returned back to normal. Next one is going to be the stand jump and all you need to do is click X and you should pretty much leap or propel yourself uh, upwards. And the last one is going to be donut. And what donut does is when you click J, you're going to be doing that. So you're going to teleport to the nearest per player and you're going to damage them and send them flying away from you. Now, unfortunately, this is not a player, but a dummy, so they're just going to be stuck there, but we are going to teleport behind them. So, that should be pretty much it. Let's go to the next thing, which is the skill tree, because most of you know, skill tree helps in some point. Now, if you see here, this is a lot more better skill tree than we have seen. Now, if you are the type of person that are PvPers and would rather have damage as their forte then i'd recommend you to have this two here this one here increase your damage which is nice this one here decreases the knife cooldown so if you do remember the knife that i did which was t right it was t now if you want it to be a lot faster because this is a little bit slower we can see that for ourselves later i only have 17 perk points i might not be able to buy everything here that is unfortunate. I know that is unfortunate. But I can try to figure out a way to fix this. Let's go with this one first. Let's spend this here. And then let's spend this here. I don't know if I have one, two, and then three. So this is like five. No, it's six. It's six. We can, we can buy everything nice okay we can buy everything so we have now increased time by 75 percent we also have base damage and 
decrease not have cooled down which is amazing okay this is what we want right now i am i mistakenly clicked the wrong button let's go ahead and try the first one which is the damage as you can see it increased the damage the power punch also increased the, bar the barrage increased as you can see there let's see the power punch or the heavy punch increased too and the next one is gonna be the knife throw you're gonna see the cooldown okay click t look how fast that is it's a lot more faster look how fast the cooldown is we can now do knife throw faster than anything it's like five seconds and boom we can use knife throw again which is nice i like this i like this going to the next one it is gonna be time skip uh that does not change at all we're going to the time stop the time stop is the one that's important because if you already know in the skill tree time stop increases time stop length let's see how many seconds it's gonna take us let's see here um let's go ahead and click uh, click zay let's see how many seconds okay one two three four five six seven but like seven seconds a lot more longer than earlier because literally earlier it was like one second two seconds i'd say so myself but literally that is what the difference is now let's go to the next and last one which is donut let's see how much damage donut donut does because that is the last move that we have on the list to see how much damage it deals when we have increased the skill tree it deals 38.8 damage okay okay but for yes that should be it if you have any question about the world go ahead and ask me any question is available you can come up with any question that you probably want to think about but for now that should be it thanks for watching and bye